To do the cabin air filter, we undo these three screws. So that one, oh, this one, and there is one up under there as well. So we're just gonna do that. Once you've done those, you need to get these three out as well. This is the glove box, so you pull the glove box down, and then there's three bolts that you'll need to do there. So I'll do that as well. And once we unclip this, okay, just be careful. You've got a one cable for the, the globe. Don't touch the globe, you don't want to get oil on that, just unclip that. It's just a clip that pushes on these pins. So leave that there. And then you've got another one at the back as well. So this one, the front one was the purple and orange. The back was the black and purple. So same again, hopefully you can see that. Just pull them out and remove the glove box. Okay, so this here is your uh, cabin filter compartment, and that's all you need to um, to get your filter out is undo this screw now. So. Okay, so we just want to loosen this one bolt, this one little screw here. Take that out, and now you should be able to just take the left hand side out and there's a little hinge that you can undo here and here is our cabin filter there you go and you can't really tell but there's lots of dirt and debris and crap inside there so we're going to change this one okay so this is my spare uh, cabin filter that's the Repco number and that's the Ryco number if you want to use that but Again, there's many different brands that you can use. This one will suit me. So we'll whack it in. The new filter comes as a whole. Now, always remember to put it in the right way. So take a photo when you take one out. Um, or you can double check there is a little airflow. So the air flows from top to bottom. So the dirty air is on the top and filters through to the bottom. So you just slide that in. push it in and then just put your little cap on right hand side hinged first and push it in then just insert your screw just till it's nice and firm beautiful okay so now we go to put our glove box back in so remembering where we had each clip just pushes in for the top one for the bottom one all right so once you've got them in you can do the bottom first probably best to do underneath if you come underneath Okay, so this is it loose. So you don't actually need these hinges off. That's just to change the door. So when you push it in, line it up. So the holes line up. The three holes, one, two, and three. Do them up. Then for the top, so undo it, put your door gently come down and obviously just do your three top ones. So there is a clip that you want to 
line up at the top here and at the top here. Probably easier to do the front, to be honest. Uh, do the top first, but I've just clipped them in, the two top ones, one here, one here. Now it's sitting in nicely. Probably would have made doing the bottom ones easier. Close your door, job done.